afternoon, my name is Kirsty Dignam and I'm here to record the Monday's musings and I have no idea what that's going to include. So I guess in theory, my name is still Kirsty Dignam and I'm here to show up. Which feels really poignant this week in particular, but in life in general, to show up how we can, as we are. I hear the song by Nirvana, come, come as you are, come as we are. So that we can really look at how we see ourselves. So today I'm desperately trying not to laugh because the sheer fact of it is I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. All I know is there's been a real emphasis on taking a deeper look at the perspectives that we have of who we are. So normally on a Monday's musings, and that feels quite quite helpful actually, when we're unsure where we are, when we're unsure what is occurring, it feels really quite helpful to recognise what normally happens. Normally with a Monday's musings, I do a tarot reading and I look into the energies of the week. Now that's not to say that that won't happen with this video and it's not to say that it won't happen in that way, but by not assuming that's what's asked of me today. I'm opening up a wider, more expansive view, not only of the energies that I work with, not only of the energies, my skills, my tools, my connection, but myself as a result, which feels incredibly relevant as we feel into. I know that today is the <laughs> full moon in Gemini, so there's that real reflection, projection type energy there but also the communication that we have with ourselves and who we believe ourselves to be. With this morning's daily guidance for which I did use the tarot, I really fell into this energy that I have been avoiding for a, a large chunk of my life. For whatever reason, it didn't fit in, it wasn't the norm, it was bloody scary sometimes. <laughs> you know, whenever I'm doing shadow work, I always have this image of a version of myself waiting in the corner, rolling her sleeves up to just bombard me with everything that I've been avoiding. And I think we can get really caught up with that, especially this time of year, especially in our own winter in, in this hemisphere in the UK, but especially in our own shadow, in our own necessary changes that are occurring as a result of it. We can really fear what is waiting to show us beyond the crutches that we may have. Now I adore reading the tarot, but for me the tarot have always been a reflection, a mirror of my own subconscious, my own connection and, and the available information if we take time to open that. And the tarot does that beautifully through archetypes, through pictures, through imagery, as a meditation tool. So feeling into that this morning no longer as fearful. I was going to say no longer afraid, but I don't know if that will ever happen. I think there will always be parts of me that make me think, oh, <laughs> but more curious than fearful, which feels really poignant for this week's energy. If we can approach it with a more curious rather than fearful um, trepidation, more curious this morning rather than fearful, within it all was this beautiful, deeper, trust not only in my connections not only in my energy and my body through which all of this comes yeah we can talk about tarot and um, the runes and channeling and healing but it all comes through this glorious vessel that is our physical body and this morning i felt that real deeper connection and deeper trust and as a result a more, I want to say deeper, expanded, deeper, expanded. That's what the energy feels like this week. A more deeper, expanded wisdom and awareness of myself. Quite often, especially in the winter, especially when we journey to the dark goddess, especially in those endings that are coming up as we come into the next year, we forget that within it all is this wonderful treasure to be found, this light to be found. But the guidance that came through this morning was that there was no longer a need to connect on the level that we are collectively to the story behind it. Less about the journey, more about the treasure, which, yeah, that's totally against what we are 
guided to believe it's all about the journey it's not about the destination it, but we either talk about the destination or we talk about the journey we never talk about the things that we find along the way we see them as obstacles <laughs> but actually they're little things that we put in our backpack they're medicine that we carry forward with us so tarot aside uh, my journey my path my craziness <laughs> aside what have i found i found this awareness of who I am, this ability to communicate on many different levels, many different wavelengths, many different forms, be it tarot, be it plants, be it signs and symptoms and um, symbolism outside. Interesting, I said symptoms. Um, this ability to read what is being reflected and apply that to where I am or not, as the case may be and I add that or not part because the energy this week as well in particular with the Gemini full moon feels very there's a very fine line between reflection and projection um, and there are those out there that will gladly pass on <laughs> their their um, opinion their view without listening to it themselves myself included right we've all been there we've all forgotten that half the time we speak is to hear our own wisdom um, but also there are those that will take it on board as their own and this week it feels like a beautiful opportunity to recognize what is ours and what is no longer serving us so obviously everything being of the one everything is connected and everything is related however we don't have to pick every path we are given we don't have to pick every direction that we see otherwise we'd never get anywhere right so this week it feels really important to hone in into our own truths into our own intuitive navigational system you know like our own sat nav voice this week in particular why? Because we are being guided to strengthen our feminine resolve, to strengthen our ability as a vessel to expand beyond what we believe about ourselves and about the world at large, but also to really feel into the ability to feel, the ability to navigate these emotions, these sensations, these um, actions that we may be guided to do, to really feel into that and to really step up as the, I'm reading a book by Tanishka, the moon woman, but to step up as the grail of wisdom, to open ourselves up to the light that is returning, to recognize that cliches, it sounds it was never the darkness that we feared, but the actual light within it, the actual treasure within it. So what am I feeling about that? Why wouldn't we want to recognize that? Why would we, there's a, there's a great emphasis, a great taboo energy around recognizing our own sacredness, our own wisdom, our own power, irrespective of feminine or masculine, our own connection, our own soul. This goes beyond self-worth. To a deeper remembrance and what I'm seeing actually is a fall from grace what I'm seeing actually is um, the Garden of Eden what I'm seeing here is the the true power of free will the recognition that all the time we continue to walk the stories that we have been given including our own assumptions including our own ideas our own values our own restricted limitations there is no free will all the time we are walking the path that we believe has been handed down to us you know when we continue to repeat the stories Without awareness, there is no free will. If we continue to do so with awareness, then we have that free will. So this week, really looking at where we may be having our head in the sands, where we may not be facing what is coming up for us, where we may not be doing the work. And I will say doing the work. So I'm being shown the, the uh, uh, filtration device, you know, where you get essential oils, where you get the very essential strongest part of the plant the the most potent aspect of the medicine needing to filtrate that through in order to get that essence and that's what we're being gifted all the time but in particular this week and as we lead into the solstice really being gifted the opportunity to look at ourselves as the titration device to look at ourselves as how we allow these things to go through us to move through us to feel them to when we feel something, we are being asked to dilute that. We are being asked to concentrate on that. We are being asked to bring 
awareness to that so that we can gain whatever medicine it is we need as a result so if we can do that this week and leading into the solstice we are going to get the essential core lesson medicine treasure light the pure light that is trying to come through for 2024 and that is a fear that is the recognizing where we are not holding ourselves back but where we are so consumed with how things have been today reading 10 minutes in reading without the the cards i feel like someone has taken my foundation away from me i feel like not where where is this coming from because it's the same energy but on what basis on what grounds on on what proof <laughs> on what proof you know if we continue to do things the way that we've always done it there's been a solid proof behind that so for example a beautiful story that runs through my ancestry is the strength of the feminine the female warrior if you will and there's been great proof of results from that to let go of that or to adapt that on what proof what proof have i got to know that that will work and the proof is the actual essential medicine that's come through that warrior line of my feminine the core belief in ourselves in what we know in our wisdom in our own truth and that is coming to light we are going into the festive season yes the solstice yes the return of the light yes christmas yes jesus yes the christ consciousness yes the rebirth of the masculine at the time of miracles and hope and faith at one of the most darkest moments in our own cycle whether we are in the southern or the norman northern norman <laughs> northern hemisphere we are at the end of a year we are at the end of those calendar months. We are at the end of that energy. And at the end of all things, there is darkness of the unknown. It does feel heavier this year in particular. And I want to sense into that. And the guidance that I'm getting is to really feel into why it seems heavier this year. To really take responsibility and acknowledge what is coming to light for us with that. This year it feels heavier for me because I just think, again, really, these same lessons. <laughs> so for me it feels heavier because there's a lack of compassion there for myself. And that lack of compassion, that knee-jerk reaction, even that, oh my God, not again, type energy has restricted me from seeing what is actually going on, has closed down this assumption that it's the same lesson, this assumption that it's the same energy, this assumption that I haven't moved forward, all of these assumptions have closed down the very light trying to come through. Now I can recognize that as part of the process, part of the squeezing, part of the getting out that essence within me. And I can really feel that, and really feel that right under my zifferstan, right under into my solar plexus and my heart chakra here, and free will. That's what it feels like, free will. All the time we are believing that nothing has changed, all the time we are unaware of exactly what is going on around us, our own views included. There is no free will because we are guided by that. We are navigated almost by this hidden... <laughs> <laughs> this hidden devil on our shoulder, this hidden narrative, this hidden restriction, this hidden tied to an identity that cannot serve us the way that it needs to. Now, I'm not suggesting that we get rid of the ego far from it. I'm suggesting that we befriend that. I'm suggesting that we work alongside that energy. I'm not suggesting we get rid of this devil voice on our shoulders. I'm suggesting we balance it out with the and what, what if, I wonder type energy why is this coming to light we have a cup of tea and there's a temptation there my eyes were drawn to the tarot then there's a temptation there to return to what we've always known there's a, a almost an addictive codependency there 
and there is no judgment there i i get it i can relate 100 percent. i feel really oh <laughs> really crunched up in my solar plexus in my sacral like what do i do without them I know that my connection with the tarot, this is going to be interesting, goes beyond holding them in my hand. I know that it goes beyond shuffling. I know that it's more about opening my subconscious to their energy. And in 2024, we are going to be asked to expand our knowledge, to expand our connection, to expand our wisdom beyond what we've always done to use that as a foundation or a brick even in the foundation but to recognize that there's a deeper a deeper union there waiting to happen so with that in mind let's tune into the energies this week and the tarot cards and whatever wants to come through so monday today i'm feeling a real sense of inspiration from the unknown a real sense of stepping beyond with trepidation or excitement, depending on how we choose to see it. And I'm seeing the two of swords in my mind's eye and I'm feeling the navigation, the, the advice, the encouragement to come from the heart, not from what is obvious in front of us, to close our eyes to what is obvious in front of us. You know, I, when I close my eyes, I have the ring left over from the light, the artificial light of this camera, this spotlight, this belief that it was all about the emphasis being on how we are seen, the emphasis being on the projection that we want to give across, this, this artificial awareness that is based on views that are external. That, that Two of Swords energy now recommending that we close off to seeing things from all different angles, from the double-edged swords, from seeing this side and that side, to going within to the one energy, the heart energy, that actually can interpret it all, on the Monday in particular. On the Tuesday, it feels like there's a lot of different energies trying to come through. I'm very aware of the strength card. I'm very aware of the... Um, justice card the high priestess the world card is almost like on the tuesday the moment we have the courage the strength the determination to open our heart to open our mind to working with these energies in a different way like they all come in at once <laughs> like okay so i feel the nine of wands however i feel like it almost has to be the nine of wands but it isn't the nine of wands it feels almost as if i need to defend as if i need to have boundaries to stand my ground to know the journey that i've walked but that is still based on trauma that is still based on a vulnerable disconnection from the soul and then I'm being drawn to the Ace of Wands. I'm being drawn to that one wand that the character on the Nine of Wands holds. That one thing that's going to drive us forward. That one light. What one thing have we gained from this journey? For me, on the Tuesday, it feels like a trust. It feels like no matter how much the messages come in, no matter how much the insight comes in, no matter how open we are, the trust of our ability to stand firm and connected in our own divine union on the Tuesday is going to be key. And it isn't a major arcana. It may feel like it's a major energy coming in. Like I say, there was strength, there was justice, there was the devil, there was the world card. But actually, what I'm getting here is it is about our own divine connection. It is about balancing our own physical humanness on the Tuesday and recognizing our body as the valuable source and tool that it is. Gosh, when we do that, okay, so that's where I feel almost a closing down, how there has been a necessary closing down from a hyper-stimulation, a hyper-sensitivity the, from the numerous insights that have been occurring. It isn't about shutting things down. I get a lot of people that will um, close down their energy centers or believe they need to or to bring their energy down, to ground their energy down. The light isn't about closing it off. It is about opening it up. Okay, so the more we open up our vibration, the more we really expand our own awareness. We're not separate from the things that we're connecting to. We are them. We are part of them. You know, we're not separate from everything that's going on around us. We are part of it. We do not need to protect ourselves from that that we are on the Tuesday. Really stepping into that divine energy on the Tuesday is going to be key. 
recognizing that we hold in, in our very hands, that we hold in front of us that wisdom, that knowledge to move us forward, that it was never really about the, the trauma or the journey or even the destination, but our very essence that has developed along the way, the treasure of who we are. Tuesday, it feels like we could really delve into some deep, deep insights, but and what? On the Wednesday, what are we going to do with that? And that's where I see the Two of Pentacles. And it's coming in quite quite clearly on the Tuesday, on the Wednesday. But however, there's still some energy mixed up from the Tuesday. Now, it really feels like a time to hand over. That's where I feel a download occurring, actually. And now I see the Tower card on the Wednesday in particular. On the Tuesday, it's very much about recognising as a minor player or what we believe as a minor player. We are... We recognize that that has great potential, that that has the great ability to shift and change things. And when we see that on the Wednesday, there can be almost a feeling of, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to shift and change things. Acknowledging the balance, acknowledging that just by realizing our potential, things shift and change. And that itself can be the lightning bolt. On the Wednesday, it really feels like a tower card moment, but it doesn't feel as if it's a, oh my God, I'm out of control type thing. It feels as if, what I feel is our body becoming the tower, our body strengthening actually. Um, the crumbling has occurred. It almost feels like the crumbling has occurred on the Wednesday and it feels like a reverse tower card and that's where the confusion can be and that's where I'm getting cold that's where I feel the urge to shut off to go within on the Wednesday the change comes the lightning bolt moment comes from acknowledging where we may need to balance our own light where we may need to step up show up trust ourselves trust our connection trust our ability to rebuild and oh i feel it on the wednesday i feel that beautiful beautiful energy rising within us all and that's where i almost feel the reverse like the lightning bolt the thunderbolt of the tower of the change the enlightenment comes from embodying what we know right pachacuti the world on its head i do get an emphasis of the hanged man in the background but not to get too caught up in seeing things from different perspectives on the Wednesday, to be very mindful of that almost as a distraction because this energy is coming up from the earth. This is ancient wisdom, ancient knowing, ancient connection that we have from being present in our physical body on the Wednesday. It's that that's going to shift things and it is a major player. It is a major um, moment. There may be aspects of our health that come into consideration on the Wednesday, aspects of our health that may need looking at that are going to help us put these changes into place. So we can want things to shift in our life, but sometimes, sometimes we need that obstacle that just says, okay, let me give you a bit more oomph. Let me give you a bit more determination. Let me give you a little bit more incentive to shift what needs to be shifted. So at the moment I'm struggling with finances or rather I am working on my view of finances. And yes, I'm being gifted certain incentives. <laughs> to remind me why I need to work with this energy okay so on the Wednesday in particular again there's a great fullness there there's a great thickness of development on the Tuesday and the Wednesday because from the Monday we've gone from the space of the heart and it's full and it's sustainable and it's real on the Wednesday it's tangible on the Wednesday. So these obstacles that are coming up are coming up to help us embody the changes that we have asked for <laughs> on the Wednesday. Okay, pause, because this is amazing, right. On the Thursday, actually having some fun, lightening up, I do see the full energy, but I also see the Hayoko energy. So left over from the insights, from the very things that have happened on the Thursday, there's almost a restless, nervous, um, nervous system type energy, a awakening, a quickening on the Thursday that's going to come through with a full type energy. And the full energy for me actually suggests that we just take it easy that calm and collected can be fun too, that less is more, that actually when we feel into that, we feel lighter, but it's really important to ground into that lightness on the Thursday. It feels very clean, it feels very clear. I'm very tempted, what I will say, we will, very important to say what we're tempted to say on the Thursday, 
I'm tempted and will say that I can see the Ace of Swords, but also the King and the Queen of Swords. So it's one thing to say, it's another, another thing to align with our actions. And th 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 that's where I feel as if there's almost a stutter, almost a necessary pause to speak our truth, to connect to our authenticity, to keep it light. Thursday there can be a temptation. I feel the third eye clearing, I feel the nose shifting and I feel the free will expanding in the body and as that happens, as this free, almost Uranus, it'd be interesting to know what the Zodiac is doing on the Thursday, this Uranus type energy, this unexpected, oh my God, I didn't realise I could do this type energy comes in on the Thursday. Integration is necessary. Nurturing with our actions, taking time out, journaling, reflecting. Because my chair almost wanted to wobble then and my vision became quite blurry. So very, very important on the Thursday to pause, reset, integrate, embody everything that is coming through. And it feels light. And obviously when it feels like what happens when that lighter energy comes through our body, when that sami, that masculine energy is received into our feminine, into our vessel, into our physical body, it shines, <laughs> it highlights the denser energy, not the negative, not the bad, um, but the hutcher, the more feminine aspects, the things that have taken a little bit longer to bring forth their gifts, shall we say. And on the Thursday, yeah, that's that's going to come in if we allow it, if we gift the time needed to do that. So, you know, sometimes when you get, when you discover something and you can't wait to share it, and I'm a classic oversharer, you can't wait to share it, and it's from the heart, and it's, oh my God, I saw this, I did that, did it. On the Thursday, taking time to truly embody, to truly reflect what you have received, to apply it to where you are so that you can understand it on a greater level. When we're sharing, we're teaching. Okay, so being aware of that, what are we teaching? What are we actually passing forward? Feeling into that. Where from on the Thursday? <sighs> On the Friday, my eyes are being drawn to look outside at the trees, to look outside and see how well they have just released their leaves. And I feel like a beautiful sigh of, that's over, that's done. Completion on the Friday. I'm not actually seeing a, okay, so now I am. When I actually said I'm not seeing a tarot card, when I actually stepped into that, blind panic, that fear of disconnection, but without the judgment, without the grasping, allowing space on the Friday in that completion. Originally, I thought I wasn't seeing a tarot card and what I saw was Bacana, the birth rune, the creativity rune. And after that, I saw the Empress. Now, just bear with me. Okay. So the moment I saw the Bacana room, I saw the Empress, but I also saw, so this is the Bacana room. It kind of looks like, like mountains here, like a journey, like, a, um, but also like goggles, <laughs> like a hidden superhero. Okay, so on the Friday, opening our mind up to the void, to the nothingness, but knowing that we may not be able to make any logical sense out of that, but it's a space of creativity. It's a space of birth. It's a necessary destruction. So when we look at endings, we fail to realize quite often that they are necessary in order to bring forth the new. So on the Friday in particular, I'm being drawn to really embody the bare medicine, to really look at what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> there's so much going on Friday that it can be quite difficult now I see the card as well the star card Bacana rune empress and the star card there's great potential on the Friday to let go 
to be at one with ourselves, with our body, with what it is we are trying to bring forth, a, a more expanded vision. But we cannot do that if we fill the gaps. We cannot do that if we try and make tangi tangible what is unknown as yet. Allowing these ideas to float, to waft, and to really concentrate on what is in front of us. As I did so, now I see temperance, chop wood, carry water, to concentrate on what is in front of us. As I did so, I'm holding on to these two characters, which are by Belle Pine Art. Incredible, I won these in a competition. Um, and I'm holding on to the child and the mother, the bear at medicine, the bear at wisdom of being held by the mother on the Friday. Knowing that our dreams, our vision has to align with hers. If we are to have a smooth transition, if we are to have a safe deliverance, we have to be in alignment with what is being asked of us. The reason I did bring up the tarot cards today, I was on in two minds. I wanted to see how I would do without them. I wanted to see about my connection with them. Um, I wanted to expand myself, but also I was very aware that they may be needed, not from me, but from others. And on the Friday, after we've realised all these things that we can do, all these different potentials, we may find on the Friday we're being asked to bring in some of those skills that we've always had, not because we rely on them, but because others require them of us. They help us to connect to others on the Friday. So with that in mind, for Saturday and Sunday, and it isn't a cop-out. It almost feels like a cop-out, but it isn't a cop-out. You know, it, this week very much is about recognising how many different ways there are to, to communicate with the universe, with ourselves, with each other, but with the universe at large. So, it's exciting, it's creative. It's like getting a video that has a, my daily guidance, okay? They have a picture in them. They have a write-up, almost like a story with them. They have a title that sums up all the energy and they have music behind them. They are full and embodied. This week, we can almost feel as if we're a bit scattered with the many ways that we can communicate and the many ways that things can come in. But it is about being able to create with a, a plethora of materials you know it is like having a canvas and pencils and pens and paints and fingers and brushes and <laughs> pictures outside that we can copy or memories in our mind the sky is quite literally the limit by next weekend okay if we choose to see it that way if we choose to remain and again there's no judgment here but if we choose to remain for whatever reason in our own restrictive views of who we are then we are going to limit the amount of material gains and the amount of material that we are gifted as a result to work with them okay so i'm going to turn that up saturday eight of pentacles yeah really tuning into the many many ways that we have here so yeah like recognizing them within our own cycles as well so honing in to the flow that is within us based on our elements based on our mind our body our spirit our soul based on our own connection to the cycles of the world around us based on our own cycles within as well if you are feeling as if you're coming to the end of doing something in a particular way and you begin to bring in different ways and they're great and then you find yourself going back to the old ways maybe there's a bridge there that is needed maybe it isn't about defending ourselves against how these energies are trying to merge so for argument's sake i worked for the nhs for over a decade i now do holistic health the medicine that I've gained being a midwife, having wisdom and knowledge in biology is applied to the healing that I do. So I know why something works and how it works. Bringing them together on the Saturday is going to be key because not only does it add to the story in a more vibrant, artistic, creative way, it also helps us to recognize where our soul and our body unite where our lessons and our wisdom can be applied. So on the Sunday, it feels as if on the Sunday there's something lacking. It feels as if there's something I want to um, 
used different on the Sunday. I've been very drawn to uh, singing uh, on my wall, singers on my wall with an open heart that are speaking about rattling in the lock and darkest before the dawn. Okay, so on the Sunday, yes, it is going to take something different to change things. It is going to take a different mindset, a different perspective, a different way of seeing things, a Ace of Pentacles, different connection here now to who we are. It doesn't matter the tools that we use, and I'm literally going to put them to one side. It doesn't matter the tools that we use. It doesn't matter the obstacles that we come up against. It doesn't matter what we've inherited. These are all beautiful skills, ten of wands here, that can actually weigh us down. Come the Sunday, if you want things to be different, if you are looking for a different way of working, a different way of being, what version of you is that going to require? What part of you now needs to be allowed room to step up and to step through? Through that darkness of being hidden and unseen into the light of your own awareness. Allowing that to come forth by the Sunday. This week it's all about that. It's all about recognising that everything else is a tool to bring forth your own light, your own abilities, your own place here in the world so based on that is there anything else I'm getting a very blurred insight and the reason that it's blurred is I'm trying to understand it what I'm what I actually saw was a staff in the ground and I saw it as the shamanic staff as the the medicine stick as the way to move forward and I saw it as the wand on the nine of wands as well and I saw it as the connection of the earth when we decide the stories that we take forward we decide the stories that are taken forward for Pachamama as well and that's not to say that they didn't exist but it is down to us to find the essence the the um very thing that's going to sustain that growth for us and for each other the medicine that we choose to take forward we are stepping into that more shamanic type energy which is connected to all things because we recognize all life is sacred and all is ceremony so this week in particular acknowledging everything that we are going through is a rite of passage it's an initiation it's another step into the treasure of this journey not the journey, not the destination, but the recognition of who we are upon it. <laughs> I hope this has helped. Have the most incredible, incredible week. And thank you for allowing me space to discover my own connection also. Take care. Speak to you soon.